Hello fellow gamers, welcome back to another Smash Bros. moveset tier list. Today I'm going to be doing Mega Man, and if your name starts with the letter E and ends with an O, please like this video. Anyways, um, shout out to Keyline Pancakes for making this tier list. You have a very awesome name. Um, but, yeah, anyways, uh, Mega Man, he's an interesting fellow. He's got a pretty unique moveset. Um, he also doesn't really have any bad moves or any useless moves it's just that you know the moves that are going to be down here can just don't perform as well as the ones up here but i'll do my best to rank to rank this character i'm not a mega man player at all but whatever let's just get started right away so usable uh moves that are like i said aren't terrible but just do not perform as well as the moves higher in that tier. Uh, meh. Moves that are kind of weak. But aren't really useless either. Um, average. Moves that are middle of the ground. And can get the job done for you. Strong moves that are, are strong. But aren't broken either. And finally busted. Moves that are used a lot in space. A lot for insane setups and just really dumb cheesy stuff. So, so next we got jab slash F till. He basically shoots out his lemons. Same with Nair. I think I'm just gonna rank them both at the same time. I'm gonna put it in strong. It's a great spacing tool and can can be great for racking up damage and also a good get off me tool since they have a stronger hitbox when. When they are close to you, especially Nair, as you can see, it has a much bigger hitbox than Jab. And I think F-Tilt just loses out on the stronger hitbox in general, so... I'm not sure if it tells you here, but... Uh, I don't think so. But I, I think Forward Tilt doesn't have the strong hitbox when they're close to you. I'm not sure, but... Anyways, next we got Down Tilt, um... And honestly, down tilt and dash attack are pretty bad, but I think I'll put dash or I'll put down tilt and meh just because it's still a better approach option than dash attack. So the thing with dash attack and down tilt is that they both have a lot of end lag. And well, at least dash or at least down tilt still sends your opponents up regardless of when you hit it. So even if you hit it late, it still does. It still hits them further further from you, but dash attack, if all your hits connect, or, or sorry, if you use it near the edge and the last hit doesn't connect, it'll do basically no knockback and you're pretty much left wide open. And if your opponent's above you, you can get punished pretty badly. So at least with down tilt, you kind of, um, your hurt box shrinks down so you can go below other other attacks so so at least there's a niche to that but dash attack um i mean i think it does decent damage but come on you can already do more you can probably do more damage with this jab than than having all the hits connect for dash attack so moving on we got up till which is his shoryuken so the reason why he has that move is because he's the first capcom character and it's a reference to Ryu's up B, so he did come out before Ryu, so so it makes sense to I, I guess it makes sense that they gave him that since he was the first Capcom character to be added. So pretty cool. Um, I think I'll put it here. Um, you can do some setups into up tilt, so um, I'll go over his setups later. But for now, just know that it's a pretty good out of shield option. So frame six, not bad. Um, only problem is that if you miss, you do, you are left wide open. So, so just make sure you landed properly. And yeah, just don't, just just don't go don't go around spamming it. <laughs> not recommended. Next we got forward smash. So I kind of want to put a. Let's see. I think I might put it here. Um, so it's got. I think it's got the most range out of all smash attacks. 
I say that because nowadays we have characters like Megman who can who can smash attack across the freaking map. So I don't know if the smash attack is still further than Min Min's. I don't know. I think it might still be the longest range smash attack. So of course that depends on how long you charge it for. So I think um yeah the max charge version goes further than his minimum charge so um so yeah just, just thought i should mention that the longer you charge the further it goes and the bigger the hitbox is so moving on we got down smash um i mean it hits on both sides and it's strong so it's only fair to put it there and then up smash um I think up smash is a good anti-air. And it's quick too, so why not? Why not? Why not put it there? Alright. Now moving on to his aerials, we got uh well we already went over Nair, which is basically the same as Jab, but only with some minor difference, which I already went over. Fair, um I think fair and back air are both interchangeable. Um so they're both very strong. Uh, back air is a bit faster, but forward air is safer and has less end lag, so you can kind of use it a bunch of times in succession if you if you short up into into it or after you down throw. So great move, um, pretty strong. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure which one I like better, but I think I prefer forward air just because it's easier to land. Um, but back air, I think back air is a bit stronger than forward air, and you can do some like dumb drag down stuff with it. But again, it's up to the player on you know how, how you want to play them. Uh, down air, let's see here. I think I want to put down air. It's a bit tricky to land, but it isn't. It isn't like. As bad as it seems, just because it's a ranged move, and you know, like if you if you go for it, like there's no consequences really for missing it. So yeah, I'll just leave it an average. Um, again, you could do some setups into it, but it's a bit more tricky to do setups into down air, at least to my opinion, because I cause I suck with Mega Man, but. Um, next we got up air. I'm kind of tempted to put this up here because of how stupid it is. Um, I don't know. I think I might. We have way too many moves in strong. I may have to move them around, so. I don't know. I'll, I'll do that at the end of the video if I have time, but. Just for now, I'm going to put up air here. So what it does is he shoots a freaking tornado above him and. You know, you can get some very stupid kills just by sending them up at, up at the blast zone, even if they're at low percentages. So, probably one of the most annoying moves in Smash, but... But, yeah. Um, I'm still not sure where to put this, but I think for now I'm going to just... I'm going to put it here, just because it's a little bit harder to set up into it than you may think, so... Alright, next we got Metal Blade. I'm going to put it here. So, you can do a ton of setups with Metal Blade just by... Um, if You you can you can also angle it in eight different directions. So, ideally you want to angle it down so that you can grab it. And then, what you want to do is Z-Drop, which is basically pushing the... On uh, Game Controller, it's a Z button. On Pro Controller, it's freaking one of the shoulder buttons. Uh, RB or LB if you're an Xbox player. It's basically the equivalent to that. Um, but you want to push that so that it can drop at the same rate as your fall speed. And then and then um, as they're taking as they're taking damage, you can follow up with a, any attack of your choice. So if you're lower to the ground, kind of near... Yeah, I guess kind of near the floor, you can drop it. And then as they're getting hit... As they're in the hit stun, you can then follow it up with an up tilt. So that's kind of like the, 
the setup, one of the setups you can do with them or that I've mentioned when explaining up tilt. So you can do that or or follow up with a um, honestly any aerial of your choice or forward air, back air, ideally, if you're close to the blast zone. So you can use one of those and get a very early kill with it. Um, on top of that, you can. It's also just a good projectile, and also a good ledge guard option. So that's why I'm putting it in them busted. Next, we got Crash Bomber, and I'm gonna be honest. I don't like this move, um, just because you gotta rely on a timer, and your opponents can just shield it and air dodge it and whatnot. So. It's not a bad move, but I think his other moves just do a better job, so... Or his other range options do a better job, so... I don't know, I could be wrong about this, but... I know there's some other setups and combos you can do with Crash Bomber, but again, you have to rely on a timer. And sometimes if you get too close... Or, yeah, if you do get close, it'll actually... Um, it'll revert the bomb to you, so it can actually mess you up in a way. And also, even if you're you know a bit too late, if you're a bit late, it'll it'll blow up and it'll kind of mess up your combo. And the knockback gets a bit inconsistent, so that's kind of my reasoning for why I put it here. It's inconsistent. It the other other range moves just do a better job than Crash Bomber, so. I just think it's. I also think it's just heavily outclassed by Metal Blade, in my opinion. So that's my take on that. Next, we got Lee Shield, and I kind of want to put it up here too, just because it can block a ton of projectiles, and it's a good approach option. I might do that. I might do that. I could be wrong about this, but I think I'm gonna put it in busted. It's just a great um approach option, a good landing option. Um, you can also use it for combos, I believe. Do some setups with it, too, if you want. So, why not? Put it right next to Metal Blade. And finally, we got Rush Coil. So, uh, it's his recovery move. You can... You, you can even knock that out of it after using it if you're off stage. So, actually, you can do it both on stage and off stage. So, um... It's basically Sonic sub B. I think that's a better way to dis to. I think that's a better way to, of explaining it. So, Sonic sub B, pretty much, and I believe if you bounce on it, I'm not sure if it works for Sonic sub B as well. But if you bounce on Rush Coil or on, I think it's his, I think his name is Rush. Um, if you bounce on Rush, it'll shave off any end lag on your on your aerial so for example down here has a lot of end lag but if you if you use it and then quickly bounce on rush it'll cut off any end lag on that move so you can you may be able to do some cheesy stuff with it same with i think back here has a lot of end lag let me check um uh yeah back here has 33 frames of end lag and then yeah, I don't know. Just any move with a lot of end lag, you'll be able to cut it off by bouncing on them and then use it again. Especially if you fast fall, so you can do some really cheesy stuff with it. But overall, it's just a very good recovery move in general. Now onto his throw. So forward throw. Um, I think all of his throws are pretty good, so you can use forward throw for... Stage control, down throw is going to be your ideal combo throw, and then back throw is going to be your main kill move. But he already has a ton of great kill moves and setups, so I think I'm just going to leave it an average. Up throw, you can set up into into uppers if you want, so it's not, a, it's not one I use a lot, so I might knock it down here. Um, but... I don't know, there might be a lot of stuff I'm overlooking, because I don't play this freaking character, but... Yeah, let me know if you agree or disagree with my placements. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I will see you all next time. Peace.